Hello. Well, today is the hockey day. Um, I'm going to give it a shot. I've never done it before. Never done it on nothing this big. Practice on smaller pieces. I'm using the total bow epoxy resin five to one. Uh, it's a slow cure, so I don't know if that's good or bad. I do got some cups. I got a scale so I can measure it out too to make sure it stays five to one. Um, but we're gonna go with that. Uh, I don't know how much I'm gonna mix up the first batch. My goal is to at least do the edges, the top, all the edges. That way I can go ahead and I'm gonna put one coat on, let it soak in, and then I'm gonna put a glass coat over top of that. I'm gonna try to do the fiberglass over top of that, but you gotta let it sit for so long. So I don't know, let's see how far the epoxy gets me first. I don't know how much I'm gonna to need to do the whole entire camper, so. Um, but I would like to get the fiberglass done on the edges, so. Yeah, so these pumps are supposed to pump it out the exact amount. So, I'm not too sure about it, but we'll Zeroed. So I'm gonna see zero again. So that's five ounces there. Uh, it looks about five ounces on there. So, so now we're gonna do one ounce of the hardener. So, what I plan on doing is putting them both into this one. And most likely I'll end up just pouring it in. Stirred up really good. So this is a slow cure, so hopefully it gives me plenty of time to work with it. So 
Before I do it on the camper though, I am going to try out the stars one more time to make sure it's not going to bleed over too bad. There's my sample board. videos the biggest thing is is that you want to make sure you get your roller evenly coated we will try this okay. it's gonna work Seal the wood up really good.
That's one coat of epoxy on this side here. I'm going to let it dry and I'm going to go do the other side to get that one done. But I'm going to stop the video now and I'll get back when I put some more on. Hey, welcome back. Uh, so, yesterday, I ended up putting three coats of the epoxy on. I attempted the fiberglass up top here, but it just didn't turn out the way I wanted it to look. Um, so I decided to take the fiberglass off really quick before it's set up. And I am going to end up running, I think, one inch aluminum trim angle along the whole edge and have it painted black and go around the whole edge. Um, me and the wife looked at it yesterday and I think that's the way I'm gonna go. And now I'm just gonna put a sealer and caulk or whatever just to make sure no water can get between the seams. But uh, yeah, so today I'm gonna put one more coat on because there is a couple spots where it did suck in quite a bit. Um, I looked it up and they said, if, as long as you do it within 24 hours, you can go ahead and put uh, another layer on without sanding. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put another layer on, get it coated, let it sit for a few days, let it good and dry. Then I'm going to sand it off with the, uh, I think it's like 220 grit is what they recommend, sand it off, and then put my final finish on. So that's the plan. So, as you can see, there are some light spots and some like bumps and everything. So, hopefully, after I get it all sanded, I can get it. I did do the other side also. I did the back, a little bit of the back. I got some of that. And that's the other side. So I'm not gonna bore you with uh, me painting more on. So I'm gonna put another coat on today and maybe put the coat on the top and fiberglass on the top. I'm not really concerned what it, if you can see the fiberglass or not on the top. So, so that's my plan. So I will continue on today finishing the epoxy i do have to order another jug of it to, to finish the final coats because i don't think i'm gonna have enough one gallon isn't enough to do it all um so yep so there we go There's the eagle. Got my fenders there. I got a mount yet. American flag on the side. Turned out really nice.
Back turned out pretty decent. Might have to put one more. Yeah, no, nope, turned out pretty smooth. Nice glare on it. Let's see. And this is a roof. As you can see, I fiberglassed that there. I mean, it's smooth, but that's the reason why I didn't do it on the side, because you can see that fiberglass a little bit. There are a few air bubbles in there, it looks like. Not much. Then I went down the center. Around there. So the roof is ready for a vent to be put on there. That'll be next for the roof. Other than that, you know, get the molding for the edges here. I'm gonna get some aluminum for that, I think. And that way it's good and covered around like in silicone it or use the beetle tape not really sure what I want to use yet so yeah inside haven't really done much to the inside since the last videos I've been kind of concentrating on the outside Then I got the side door panels made for the cabinets. Oh, I think it's pretty close. So, that'll go in place there where the door is. So. Yep. And then this is part of the door panel. I'm holding it upright because when I epoxied it, I had it standing upright. That way I could get all the way around it pretty easy. And I want to do the top, seal the top and epoxy. So I just kind of poured it on there. So there you go. That is the camper as of today. Pretty awesome. I do love the eagle.